For the next few seconds, I'm going to need you to act real childish. During the developmental stages of childhood, a lot of things happen that we contain and register and set as our belief system. So here's an example. Let's say that you're 10 years old and you're really excited to tell one of your parents something. But instead, that parent says they're too busy to hear you right now. And then you get really hurt, you go to your room, and you start to create this story about how you're not good enough. If you don't heal that then, you start to grow up, and then as an adult, you develop feelings of unworthiness. So whether you're 6 or 60, if you haven't dealt with that wound, you're going to be responding to the world or life through that negative belief. So here's what you do. Think about all the negative things that you normally tell yourself. Whatever it is, think. Would you tell your inner child that? Probably not. So here's what you have to remember. Those negative things that you tell yourself are the same things that you were telling that inner child. Whenever you got that first traumatic experience, that's the spot in your life that needs to be healed. Because if you don't heal your wounds, you're going to bleed on other people that didn't cut you. These things will follow you until you actually deal with them. The point is that inner child may still be hurting. Whatever you wanted as a child back then, you can provide as an adult right now. This might be a reunion that's long overdue.